Hello there, my friends. My name is Lex. Welcome. If you're new, welcome back. If you're old, welcome back. <laughs> We're gonna be talking about how to read more books or get into the habit of reading. Why? Because it can. Why? Because it can be great for your life. You can learn things. You can expand your horizons and make new. <laughs> Ideas come out of yourself. Yeah, you become more interesting for yourself, and then obviously for others. All right. First thing that I would like you to do, and would advise you to do, is to start small. Read a certain book that you love, you are drawn to, and just make a commitment to read twice a week if you've never read. Just mm, get above that little zone where you're comfortable, but still challenging yourself a little bit. You know, just get in the activity. Commit to I don't know five pages a day, two pages a day, ten pages a day. What do you feel you can do? Okay, let's do that. And now, second thing, bind it to a certain habit that you already have. I don't know. It could be you wake up, you brush your teeth, and then you get two pages in, or three pages in. Or if you want to do it at night, okay, you're going to bed. You're turning off the lights or brushing your teeth as well. Whatever you do, if you're into brushing your teeth, <laughs> and then just connect it. All right, let's get our three pages in, and then go to bed, go to sleep, my friend. You might enjoy that, and your brain will start thinking. And all right, this activity ties to this activity. I like this. And you can even do it related to an activity that feels great for you, good for you, satisfying. You know, maybe you're burning some incense and having some tea, and that'll make the sensation feel better. And you know what? Our brain likes to associate things that feel good and are working for us. That's how you develop habits, right? There are no good or bad habits. There are just things we do to solve problems, and that's what they become. But you can decide how you want to solve those problems. It will take time. Yeah, but just keep track of it. And if you miss a day. Just don't think about it. Start the next one. Don't let two days go like by, because otherwise you're just gonna end up there. All right. Second tip is I like to track things. I believe that things that get tracked get managed and improved. So every time you do that, just give yourself a star. You know, congratulate yourself, or just if that's too cringy for you, just write it down. Like write a stick down. I don't want to keep like a full streak of it, because in the end I feel it just detracts from your experience. But if you're into that and you believe it helps you, track it. Keep it on your board. Keep it on your notebook. Keep it on your journal. Just keep on going with it. Going with it, and at the end of the day, or at the end of the week, at the end of the month, just go back and be like, "Oh my God, I read four times this week. Amazing. Maybe you went overboard and read ten times. Who knows? Start small." Start building up. Just show up. Read whatever you want to, man. Okay. And the other thing, reading more. Maybe you want to read in the audio sense. Go do that. Audio books are an amazing way to just get into it and read. Well, listen, listen, read to whatever you want to when you're commuting, when you're working out, when you're at the gym, when you, when you're doing chores. That's amazing. And I love that because books. Really, I believe people that write books are really try. There's bad books. I know that, but a lot of them are great and they're curated. There are freaking edit. That do heavenly stuff to purge the unnecessary things and get it to you. So start small. Maybe just get on a podcast, get on Audible, and start listening to some books. You'll develop the habit. Then it'll tie up, and maybe you'll start reading physically some. I hope that these tips work for you. If you enjoyed them, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a great day, my man or my girl. Take care. Lex out.